Welcome to ASVAB exam practice test. Our topic today is Earth and Space Science. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Based on their formation and the minerals, how many types of rocks are there? A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. The correct answer is C. 3. Explanation. Rocks are classified based on their formation and the minerals they contain. The three types of rocks are sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. Number 2. Which statement is not true about sedimentary rocks? A. Sedimentary rocks are formed by the process of lithification. B. Sedimentary rocks are often formed in layers in the presence of oil. C. Sedimentary rocks may contain organic remains, such as fossils. D. Sedimentary rocks are organized into three groups. The correct answer is B. Sedimentary rocks are often formed in layers in the presence of oil. Explanation. Sedimentary rocks are formed by the process of lithification, which involves compaction, the expulsion of liquids from pores, and the cementation of the pre-existing rock. It is pressure and temperature that are responsible for this process. Sedimentary rocks are often formed in layers in the presence of water and may contain organic remains, such as fossils. Sedimentary rocks are organized into three groups detrital, biogenic, and chemical. Number 3. What factor are minerals classified by? A. Chemical composition. B. Origin. C. Texture. D. Structure. The correct answer is A. Chemical composition. Explanation. Rocks are classified based on their formation and the minerals they contain. Minerals are classified by their chemical composition. Number 4. What kind of rock is formed from magma? A. Metamorphic rock. B. Sedimentary rocks. C. Hypabyssal rock. D. Igneous rock. The correct answer is D. Igneous rock. Explanation. Igneous rock is formed from magma, which is molten material originating from beneath the Earth's surface. Depending upon where magma cools, the resulting igneous rock can be classified as intrusive, plutonic, hypabyssal, extrusive, or volcanic. Magma that solidifies at a depth is intrusive, cools slowly, and has a coarse grain as a result. Number 5. What is not true about fossils? A. Only large animals like dinosaurs can produce fossils. B. Fossils are formed under a very specific set of conditions. C. Fossils come in an array of sizes. D. Sediment prevents the fossil from decomposing. The correct answer is A. Only large animals like dinosaurs can produce fossils. Explanation. Fossils are preservations of plants, animals, their remains, or their traces that date back to about 10,000 years ago. Fossils are formed under a very specific set of conditions. The fossil must not be damaged by predators and scavengers after death, and the fossil must not decompose. Usually, this happens when the organism is quickly covered with sediment. Fossils come in an array of sizes, from single-celled organisms to large dinosaurs. Number 6. What is the diameter of the Earth through two poles? A. About 6,378 kilometers. B. About 12,715 kilometers. C. About 15,715 kilometers. D. More than 15,000 kilometers. The correct answer is B about 12,715 kilometers. Explanation. The Earth is not perfectly spherical. The diameter is different through the poles and at the equator. Through the poles, the Earth is about 12,715 kilometers in diameter. Number 7. How many parts is the Earth's interior divided into? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 6.
The correct answer is A. 3. Explanation. The Earth is divided into a crust, mantle, and core. The core consists of a solid inner portion. The mantle consists of a lower and upper layer. Crust is the outermost layer of a planet. The crust is underlain by the mantle. Number 8. Which of the following is an example of a mineral? A. Flaxseed. B. Micronutrients. C. Vitamin D. D. Sodium chloride. The correct answer is D. Sodium chloride. Explanation. Sodium chloride is another word for salt, a mineral. Flaxseed is a source of fat. Minerals are a type of micronutrient, but micronutrients are not an example of minerals. Vitamin D is a type of vitamin. Number 9. How many types of volcano are there? A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. D. 5. The correct answer is B. 3. Explanation. Volcanoes can occur along any type of tectonic plate boundary. At a divergent boundary, as plates move apart, magma rises to the surface, cools, and forms a ridge. Volcanoes can be active, dormant, or extinct. Active volcanoes are those that are erupting or about to erupt. Dormant volcanoes are those that might erupt in the future and still have internal volcanic activity. Extinct volcanoes are those that will not erupt. Number 10. What is the tilt of the Earth on its axis? A. 15.5 degree. B. 21.5 degree. C. 23.5 degree. D. 24 degree. The correct answer is C. 23.5 degree. Explanation. The tilt of the Earth on its axis is 23.5 degree. This tilt causes the seasons and affects the temperature because it affects the amount of sun the area receives. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.